There's 1.1 million pounds resting on each wheel, all the way to the entire structures running on that little track and those wheels. This is Anthony, he does maintenance on the telescope. Anthony, tell us about your job here. Well, I'm considered the uh, technical manager for telescope operations. So basically my job is if it moves, then I am responsible for it. So it has to do with motors, the track work, there's actuators, the whole dish itself, everything. So anything that moves, we take care of. How did you get interested in this? Well, I grew up, uh, here in West Virginia, joined the Navy, got out of the Navy and became an electrician. This is relatively local to me, so I've always had a fascination about the telescopes. So job came open and I showed up here. And... Can you tell us about the team of people that work on the telescope? Yeah, there's a pretty diverse group of uh, people working on it, everything from engineers to mechanics. The mechanic crew, which is who I'm working with most time, we're taking care of anything that's Greasing wise, uh, the, the wheels themselves, any of the actuators, and then the uh, electricians and uh, engineers will come in and working with any of the um, steady state type operations. So. I was pointing out your grease boots. So do you want to tell us what's going on with all of this yes. today? <laughs> so uh, this week is uh, affectionately known as track work week. So. The uh, track, there's 48 plates uh, that the wheels run across and every year, once a year, we pull them up and we do any kind of maintenance we need to to the the, ba the plates underneath. It's a greasy job and nobody likes to do it, but it has to be done. So. How important is the maintenance that's going on here? So the telescope is very, very precise instrument. So any, the track has to be precise, I guess you'd say. So as it's moving, we can, they can feel the movement and they can tell the difference in the sound and it creates distortion. So if we keep up with this, it uh, makes observing easier for the data analysis. Tell us about the wheels that are behind us. The wheels are, uh, you can see they're a very big structure. There's a uh, 16 <coughs> across the telescope. And so they say there's 1.1 million pounds resting on each wheel. They're only 11 inches wide. So, you know, this whole, all the way to the entire structure is running on that little track and those wheels. What's your favorite part of your job? Uh, mine, my favorite thing is dealing with the motors. And uh, like, so each year, our part of our job too is we take apart the motors, we polish the commutators, we redo, just redo the entire thing. So, and I take pride in it because if the motors don't work, then no one's gonna to get to do their job. So it's an important job and I like it. So you really like getting your hands dirty and getting in there and seeing what, what's going on inside the motor? I do, which I always thought electrical engineering would be more about uh, math and design, but it's not. I can get in there, I get my hands dirty every day and I like to solve problems and just fix things, take them apart and rebuild them. So it's a pretty rewarding job. So you've gotta go up there and work. Does the height bother you? No, the height, uh, I kind of embrace the heights. I, I like being up there, um, it's an adrenaline rush, and uh, plus the view is just perfect up there. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and a share. And follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.